Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Coughing stream. Oh, hello, chat. How you doing? Had to clear the old throat. I haven't talked today. Crap, how am I getting my audio louder when I'm turning it down? <laughs> How's old man? Old man Dargan just shooed some kids off his porch. They were trying to steal his plants, his precious aloe vera. He needs that for his, like, his skin tags. And his, his rheumatism. It's the only thing that takes care of it these days, and they wanted it. Them their damn basketball and their iPhones. Can they just leave my aloe vera alone? My prize winning aloe vera. Won me a state championship at the county fair. I don't know why I'm doing this role play of a cantankerous old man. <laughs> it's kind of weird if you think about it. But it be doing it. Also, bad boy, thank you for your 68 months. Also, thank you, Super Tramp, for the five gifted memberships earlier. Uh, you got you jumped the gun. Like, hey, you know what? The stream ain't even begun yet. Boom. Uh, but thank you. Hello, Dargan. May your voice charm the night. Wow, you're getting poetic on me, man. You keep it up like that, I'm gonna be dropping these pants. Just say it. Not that that actually means anything. It just might get it's, it gets hot in here. But the poetry helps too. Bonjour, bonjour, my French brother. You seek freedom as well. You seek entertainment. Because I, I have it in spades. I, I'm going to be beating a video game, something no one's done in a while. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to beat a video game? He posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. Show thine nudes, Sir Dartigan, for free? Look, if you're going to be, if you have nudes, don't ever give them up for free. Get something out of that. Don't just sell yourself so cheaply. That, that stuff ain't disappearing once it's out there. It ain't going anywhere. But no, I'm in a pretty good mood today. Uh, finishing up this game and then, chat, then after that, next couple days dedicated solely to finishing up my FF7 video. I'm going to be so happy to be done with that. <laughs> The set, the one thing though that tampers my enthusiasm for finishing the FF7 video, it's a knowledge that I'll soon be making the DLC video, the DLC sin video for FF7 Integrate, and possibly even FF16. So I still got more Final Fantasy ahead of me. Former boss of Blizzard, Mike Yabara, has suggested a post-purchase tip feature. Yeah, I know about that. It's ridiculous. And obviously he was basically pantsed by the entire internet because everyone laughed at the suggestion uh, i guarantee you he doesn't really care he put that out there not for the the rank and the rank and file uh to agree with he put it out there because you know what he's got to show the stakeholders he's doing something and it starts a new conversation on the idea of normalizing potential like tip buttons that i guarantee you you will see in the future on triple a games like you just want to give us money for nothing hmm Hmm? 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 What about that? <laughs> you will see that. You will live to see horrors beyond your imagination, chat. Such as tipping multi-billion dollar publishing companies. And there'll be fools who do it. There will be fools. You know what? That's not a statement on a t-shirt. There will be fools. I need to make that t-shirt. I just hate that he put the idiot idea out there because some companies are dead. Uh, well, likely... Here's the thing. You can always... A lot of these, uh, these soulless, uh, triple A, uh, stock, uh, company men, they see what small indie games do for, like, to, to help them monetize themselves, and then they try to apply it to themselves. Like, there are already games, like, small indie, indie titles that you can basically play for free, but they include, like, a tip button where you can, like, just throw a buck or two at the developer if you like what you played for free. Uh, so... Obviously, they're like, hey, not a bad idea. Let's put that in our $70 fucking game. <laughs> Seems your fantasy is not so final. It will never be final. There will always be another one. Hell, we got rumors of an FF9 remake. Dark didn't finish the park last night. No, I got to the haunted house segment, and then I got killed by the flashlight. So we'll be finished, but we will, we should definitely be finishing up tonight. I can't imagine why I wouldn't. 
except sucking. Sucking can keep you from finishing a video game, I hear. What do you think you might stream after the, your rest? Uh, well, this is not really being a rest. I'm going to be working through that. Got to finish up the FF7 video. I have some options for what I'll stream, because I have Stellar Blade coming up, but I got time before that to stream something else. Uh, so my consider- I want to play something horror related again. This has kind of like been the theme for this month. I've been playing horror games all month long. So I have a few things running through my head. Maybe Eternal Darkness. Maybe one of the, uh, the Siren game. Uh, so th that's two options. I've also considered playing Harvester, weirdly enough. Because I've been meaning to stream that at some point. Eternal Darkness, yeah. I, I never recorded Eternal Darkness back when I played it several years ago. Because uh, I didn't even have the idea of doing Classic Sins back then. But now, it's it's potential I can make a video on that. So I might want to like play through that again to record it. Siren, yeah. I've never played any of the Siren. I, uh, is... Uh, I've heard... So Siren Blood Curse is the one I should probably play, right? That's the remake of the original Siren. I think you can play that on PS4. I'm not... Just, if I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know. Sony's weird with what games you can play that were made for the PS3 sometimes. The Eternal Darkness, are you going to have to... Emu something something that? I have a Pakistani GameCube, man. I don't need to emu, emu anything. I got the Pack Cube. All the power I need. Uh, but no, the the, the the things about the Eternal Darkness is that n no matter how you play that game these days, uh, the sanity effects don't really work because that's not how TVs work anymore. Uh, like switching the channel and having like green text, like a number up on the screen. I have never played Eternal Darkness. I've never played Eternal Darkness either. Haha, uh -huh, funny joke, misspelling. Uh, but de are you going to play Deadly Premonition? Maybe eventually, yeah. I want to wait for the right moment to play that one, though. Uh, let's see. Who wants to take bets on Dart and how he does getting through the park? Uh, it should be. I don't remember anything particularly bad about the park other than that flashlight that chases you around a bit. The only real question is whether what I'll struggle on will be the getting, figuring my way out through the final dungeon, I guess, and also the final boss. If I save up enough ammo and health kits for the final boss, it shouldn't be too difficult. Otherwise, I will die a lot like I did last time. I see you like Castlevania games. Hmm. Kind of miss the streams of this game. Can you give me a glimpse of what happened previously on? Uh, so uh, you've also missed my stream of this game a few years ago, then I take it. Are you asking for like a rundown of the plot? <laughs> Hmm, okay, that was only one sneeze. They usually come in pairs for me, so I'm giving that a 3 out of 10. Uh, the plot is, this is a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1. You're playing as the girl who was like a baby in that game. Uh, she's being chased down by the cult because they want to birth a god using her body. Uh, they killed her father, and now she's showing up in Silent Hill to get revenge because she's hyper mad. Uh, weird shit keeps happening. She keeps getting drawn into like the hell world stuff. Monsters everywhere, all of them like pregnancy related. This is probably not helping to explain anything to you, but I'm doing my best, alright? Or well, I did my best because I'm done. Alright. Just seen it has a 92 on Metacritic. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty well received game. I think it was like the last truly well received Silent Hill game before they started going downhill. Even though I have my problems with this game, primarily that there's not enough Silent Hill in it. You you spend half the game in some other town, and then when you get to Silent Hill, you don't really get to, but like two streets. I like the previous two games. That was me talking through a burp, by the way. That's why I sounded like I was just possessed by a devil. That was creepy as hell. Remind me to never do that again. The 92 Metacritic was for Eternal Darkness. Okay, that's a well-received game as well, but it didn't sell very well. Turns out Nintendo games or consoles aren't exactly the best place to sell horror games. You can't imagine how the Minecraft movie is going to look like. Wait, they're making a Minecraft? Of course they're making a Minecraft movie. 
What happened to that Pacific Drive game you talked about? Well, I haven't played it. That's what's happened to it. I've never had a chance to play it yet. I played the demo of it, but I've never bought or played the, the main game. Been a little too busy with the Final Fantasy stuff. What game do you think has the best fetus monster? The best fetus mo- I don't- Hmm, I have no idea. I don't think I've fought too many fetus monsters in video games. I know I've fought a few, uh... But for some reason, my, I've never, like, cataloged those in any part of my brain. So I'm drawing a blank. Was the demo good? Yeah, it was pretty solid. For, like, a survival crafting game. Quake 1? Uh, you don't really fight a fetus monster at the end of Quake 1, right? You fight, like, Shub Nagarath. Good old Shub Nagarath. Lives next door. Makes cookies. Probably Resident Evil Village. Well, you really just hide from that one. You don't really fight it. And it's technically not even real. It's all in your head. That's why we need an Akira game. I would freaking love an Akira game. Hold, why hasn't actually that happened? I'm assuming the the guy who owns the rights to it just doesn't, you know, sell the rights to make a video game off of it. I know there's like a really obscure, like, 2D Akira game back in the 90s, but man, what you could do with that license today, or, or if you did it right, would be awesome. Okay, Bloodborne probably is the winner of, like, Fetus Monster with its, like, DLC. Money is on the probably one of the monsters in Dante's Inferno. Like the best monster you fight in Dante's Inferno is like Cleopatra and her simp Mark Anthony on top of like a dick tower. After like a tornado of penises attack you. What <sighs> a giant fetus in Earthbound. You know I've never played Earthbound, and I. I feel, I feel like I should, I actually own it because I have the mini Super NES and I believe Earthbound is on that game, on that, but I've never bothered playing it. <sighs> I am stuffy tonight, chat. It's all stuffed. Dime a thousand, Catherine is the best fetus monster game. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. There is like a puzzle where a, a monster baby chases you in that from what I recall of it. that one Japanese game I remember with the quirky name for the inventory system. I remember you time traveled to kill a fetus as a final boss. Uh, is this a PS2 game? For some reason, I think I know what game you're talking about. I think. It was like a, yeah, it's, I think it's PS2. It's like dealing with alchemy and stuff. Body Harvest for N64. No, but that was a game I wanted to play really badly as a kid. Because I had a magazine that had pictures of it and, de and like a guide. And it looked so freaking cool. Like, oh, you can like drive around in like these environments and stuff. And then I learned many, many years later after I completely forgot about that game. That was from Rockstar. That was like one of Rockstar's first games. The Loot Dargan. Hey, what's up, Emo? How you doing? First day back at your house? Well, hopefully you're nice and comfortable then. Yeah, I thought you were talking about what I said. Uh, hmm. uh, okay, that no, it's Earthbound. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of a completely different game. There is another game I'm thinking of for PS2 that is sort of like what you mentioned as well. Only not Earthbound. <laughs> How come Nintendo doesn't really do anything with the the Earthbound series anymore? They just like let it languish as like a 2D game. Is, I know there's many franchises that Nintendo has that they have essentially abandoned over the years, but it feels like Mother the Mother Mother Earthbound, whatever you call it, has like a legitimately good sized fan base who love the hell out of it, but they just don't want to do anything with it. Because the creator ended the series with Mother Three. Oh, so yeah, it's kind of weird. Usually, like, I guess he, I guess he owns the rights to it. And Nintendo can't make more. I mean, he could let them like remake it. Then that'd be interesting, right? 
doesn't want new games under that name, huh? You know what? I respect that, though. Does he actually make games himself, though, anymore? Or is that he's, like, peaked there? I guess, eh, I guess it did lead to, like, the old uh, Undertale series. And uh, that, that horrible fan base. It can make a spiritual successor? What do you think Undertale is? Undertale is a spiritual successor. Along with uh, the the sequel to that. Was it Rune something? Delta Rune? Thinking of old Capcom fighting game fans, there is like millions of fighting games out there that have just vanished over the years that never got past. They just had one, one or two games and they you know, faded away in like the shadow of Street Fighter and a few other fighting games that managed to you know, find success. <coughs> I like Mother 3. I'm happy they haven't localized it since they would cut a ton of stuff. There's an unofficial translation of Mother 3. Oh, wait, so Mother 3 has never been released outside Japan? You know, I never actually hear people talk about the second game. It's usually only like Earthbound 1 or Earthbound 3. I never hear like people like talk even have conversations about the second one. Is it bad? I just had to like jump and keep myself from screaming ow fuck because my cat scratched my toe. Thank you Dex for this challenge. It's nice of you. And you're back doing it again. Stop it. How am I? You know what? I'm fighting off a cat that's trying to eat my foot. Dex is a bad cat. You know what? The cat playing with your foot is not a sign of a bad cat. They don't know their own... They're causing you harm. They think you got skin like them that is like, you know, perfectly resistant to the cat claws. Mother 1 on the NES, Mother 2, aka Earthbound on the SNES, and Mother 3. Yeah, but I never, I mean, I don't know, is it one of those situations where, like, the Americans got Mother 2 and they called it Earthbound, but they never got Mother 1? Sort of like Final Fantasy, where you get, you only, they, like, release Final Fantasy 5 as 3 in the U.S.? He wants attention, that's why I'm petting her with my foot. Final Fantasy like? Okay, I think I understand it now then. It was so tenderly it's Earthbound 1 that I never hear people talk about. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there was a time when it, it's not as common these days, but there was a time like so many games never left Japan. They figured it was too un uh, too uh, Japanese to ever sell, so they didn't bother. And for the most part, they were often right back then. Uh, but there's so many people who want who just like want those games. Like, I'm still surprised Konami has never like like done anything else with uh, Kojima's uh, two visual novel games, Snatcher and Police Nuts. Like, just re even like really like yeah, they could do something with that. It wouldn't even cost them much. Like, hey, want to make some money? Put it out there. Snatcher is another game I want to stream at some point, too, by the way. And you can play that game for free, right in your browser. Seems like they can make bank on that now. Yeah, there's, uh, well, it depends. Some of these games are, like I said, a lot of these games are just like anime JPEG within, like, not what do you need, Doc? Stop it. I can't play with you right now. I'm playing stream. A lot of them were just like really were kind of very bizarre. I would like Police Knots, yeah, an English version of Police Knots. I'd like to finally try playing that game. Can you imagine what would happen if Demon Souls never left Japan? I think that's almost what happened, right? Like one, Sony hated that game at the beginning. They like literally played it like this is a terrible game. And I think they almost backed out of publishing it. Earthbound had a failed advertising campaign where they created a fart theme guide. Oh, that's... Honestly, I'm surprised that didn't work in the 90s. I remember farts being like a big part of like a lot of marketing campaigns and products. 
it probably would have worked on me. <laughs> a cat skin is not immune to other cats. It's not immune, but they have very, like, uh, how to describe it? Pliable skin, very stretchy. So, they, I, I, there's a, I feel like the claws don't really, like, do as much damage when they're playing with each other. Question for you, do you collect anything like books, toy games, or anything like that stuff? Not really. I'm not really into collecting stuff. Uh, I don't like clutter, and once you start collecting, unless you really get into keeping it organized, things tend to get cluttered up. Uh, so, no really collections for me. I have a bookshelf with some books on it, but it's already full. So, no, I can't say that I do. Play with me, human. <laughs> I bite your feet. Oh, I'm so glad cats can't talk. <laughs> so very, very glad they can't. Because, oh, how could you resist? <laughs> how could you resist them? They'd have too much power. Coming out of Beetlejuice 2, or otherwise known as Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Beetlejuice, the original Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I don't really feel it needs a sequel. And you know what? I'm tired of being catered to. Me and my millennial strength. Like, all the movies, entertainment, want to nostalgia bait us. Like, stop it. Give us something new. <laughs> stop trying to force us to, like, stay as children forever. We want to grow up at some point, you know. No, no, says the movies. You must watch the things you loved as a child. And only those things. Uh, thanks for keeping me entertained while at work. I'll be lurking. Hey, lurk away, my man. And also, uh, you know what? Good. T have a good time at work, I guess. I, I hate wishing people a good time at work. Because you never know if they actually hate their job or not. I love very English dubs of anime like DBZ and Yu-Gi-Oh! Where they just completely try to replace a Japanese-themed food and stuff with America. Oh, yeah, like where they're eating hot dog... Where they're eating, like, rice balls, where they call it, like, donuts. These are great donuts. Very weird looking donuts. I actually, I remember thinking like, I thought, I just thought donuts in Japan were shaped like triangles for a bit. <laughs> because of that. No, that's, I mean, that's a Japanese donut. Or it'd be like a noodle bread and they'd call it a hot dog. Will you make Silent Hill 3 cents? That is very, very likely, yes. That's why I'm recording it, actually. So, yeah. However, it'll likely be a classic sin video instead of regular game sins. I really dig your channel. Keep up the great work. Hey, Madman CEO, thank you for the support, my dude. I will continue to try. I got a new video for you coming soon. Actually, a bunch of new videos. Uh, hopefully, you'll like them. Probably see Beetlejuice 2 for Bonona Ryder alone. <laughs> Why do you think they got her in the movie? Hmm? Hmm? They know what they know what, how people are. I wonder if Stranger Things wasn't a thing, if they would even bring back Winona Ryder. Good point, actually. I don't know. Stranger Things did do a lot to shape uh, a full decade of, like, streaming entertainment at this point, I feel. And also, ten it kind of, like, brought in, like, the 80s nostalgia trip. Or, like, started, I feel. There are cube watermelons in Japan. Yeah, those are real. Also, watermelons in Japan can be really expensive. Uh, do you have any other YouTube channels or only Dartigan? I technically have a stream archive channel where all of my stream, uh, Twitch streams for like the past like four years are archived at. Uh, so that's the only other real channel that I update. Though, if I'm going to be streaming on YouTube at the same time as streaming on Twitch for now on, I don't really need to do that anymore. But that, that'll stick around. It's just called like Dartigan Streams if you want to find it. I, so yeah, that's the only thing right now is this and that channel. So if I, I will be starting a Patreon soon where I'll be uploading classic sins and DLC sins as well as like Dartigan bonus. Uh, and that's, so that's going to be like new content as well. And it's super cheap. It's just like three bucks. Adulting sucks. I know, right? <laughs> what we got to do it? What we got to do with the adulting? Why can't we just have robots be the adults for us? And you know what? I saw the new... Did anyone else see the new uh, Boston Dynamics robot today? They retired the one you've seen for years doing all the parkour with the most ungodly nightmarish thing they could ever create. 
It literally gets up like an insect off the floor and spins its head around like a possessed, like, you know, human before twisting its torso around to look at you as well. I mean, it makes sense if it's a robot. It can still be human shape, but mute, move in a different way than humans can to be effective. But that, that's going to take some getting used to. What the fuck? Yeah, go look up uh, Boston Dynamics' newest robot. Yodels, what's up, musical? How you been? Thank you for the 100 bits as well. Honestly, that would make a killer sci-fi. I think I've seen similar sci-fi killer robots before. What about Elon's robot wives? Elon's robots are like, from what I understand of it, every other robot company is very far behind Boston Dynamics in terms of technology. Like, like, like all these other current robot companies are like where Boston Dynamics were a few years ago. Megan is the most ungodly robot I've ever seen. Uh, that was a good one. I saw that movie, actually. I think there's <clears throat> more creepy killer robots, though. You bet, ro bet even robot Elon wives would leave him. I mean, he is like the most divorced dude personality-wise ever. You can't get more divorced than Elon. Dora, did you ever see the Boston Dynamics video? That's what I was talking about. I was talking about their new robot that, like, gets up flat off the ground by like putting its legs over its head and standing up and then twisting its head and torso independently. Two people agree with you, rethink what you said. Look, don't make me abuse the power I have in my hand of getting the entire audience to like say yes to me. Don't make me do it. I don't want to be that kind of person. I want to be a like respected individual who is like known for being kind. <laughs> 100% sure his son is also a robot with his name alone. Well, he's just preparing for when he gets cyberized, all right? Uh, I am good. I'm working on getting into a Colorado Technical University. Let's do a program at my work. I'll cover. Hey, congrats, man. Hope you make it. What are you going there for, by the way? What, uh, what, what vocation? Just saw the robot. I wish I didn't. You're welcome. I'm glad. You better, like, remember what it looks like. You'll be seeing it coming for you. Uh, down a dark alley in a few years. As you like scrounge through garbage cans looking for food in the end in the end times. And all of a sudden you just hear like you know, mechanical noises and it just slowly walks into like under a, a street light. Does some like fancy you know, parkour and then to impress you then rips your head off. Time to go live. Oh no, they're making sure these things can walk on uneven ground. Living in the woods won't help. Living in the woods won't help. They have eternal darkness in Japan, or I'm definitely going to get you something from Japan because you've been helping me out. Oh, no, that's fine, man. You've already given me, like, you know, a gift, so I'm good. You enjoy yourself out there. Have you ever watched Zero Punctuation? Uh, yes. I haven't watched them in a while, and I think they're actually, they've changed, they left that website and they've started up a new thing on YouTube. They've, so they change names, technically. I haven't had a chance to see any of that, though. Uh, but it, I, I haven't really watched Zero Punctuation for a while. I just haven't had time. I'll usually look, like, remember I haven't watched it for a while, and I'll go check up on it and watch the ones I want to watch. Full, oh, it's fully Ramblematic now? Yeah, I heard that, like, the entirety of, like, the, the, the website, uh, The Escapist, I think it was called, basically, you're, like, quit same day because their management went crazy. And understandable. And so they just like started a Patreon and went all to YouTube. Did you watch Bubblegum Crisis? I've heard of that, but I've never seen it. Original name for z Zero Punctuation. Uh, I'm assuming that was what he was called before he joined uh, The Escapist. Uh, you just know... I mean, hey, the la technically the last uh, video I saw from Zero Punctuation is when he mentioned me at the end. So, uh, I haven't had a chance to watch him since then. When he called me, like, the, the cunt. <laughs> Good times, by the way. That means you peaked, though, and you're like, you, you chat, you've made it. Which one was that? It was the Mortal Kombat 1 video. He mentions that guy, that cunt who, like, makes game sin videos at the end. It's like, the, that game is, like, bait for it. It might not have been cunt, it might have been something else.
Hell yell, Silent Hill, we got a fan in chat. Fan in chat detected. You don't yell hell yeah unless you're like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Yahtzee called you. I don't remember if it was a cunt or something else. It was definitely like, it was just a cheeky little insult though. It's like not meant to be mean. He was basically criticizing the game and making, instead it was like, the game feels like it's made for bait for that dude on YouTube who like, sends, sends video games. <laughs> it was twat, twat, okay, same thing. Uh, just the, the British twat, not the Australian cunt. <laughs> You're exactly like that. Hey, I like the series too. I'm not a super fan of it. I I do uh, I do cut. I've I've always like held out the belief that when it comes to Silent Hill, Silent Hill Two is kind of the only one that truly matters, and the rest were just like legs propping Silent Hill Two up. It was twat dart. Yeah. So uh, you know, I'm I'm the game sins twat. I'm game twat. What's up, everybody? Game twat here. <laughs> I, I gotta come- I'm, I'm bad with branding, if you haven't noticed. Very, very bad with branding myself. Game slut, game twat. I will never be able to market any of that. I'll see you next Tuesday. You leaving, man? Hey, if so, have a good one. Uh, thank you. I am excited. It can take degrees a lot of places, so I'm hoping I can get out of my courage. I'll move on. Oh. Oh, you're going for a computer science degree? Oh, good choice. Excellent choice, even. So, good luck with that, man. When are we starting, bro? Actually, in just like another minute or two. I was waiting for, like, the old people to file into chat so I, you know, don't have to, like, explain what's going on to people. So, I have the controller in hand already. So don't you worry. I'm going to be starting in probably about, yeah, another minute or two, and then we'll be good. However, I can go ahead and pull the game up. See you next Tuesday is longhand for cunt. Oh, 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 I've heard that before and I didn't catch it because it's stupid. Oh, uh, it's, it's base. it's like the most juvenile way of insulting someone. Like, what's the point of an insult if only you understand it? See you next Tuesday. I mean, if you had to get out your, like, decoder ring to figure out someone if someone was insulting you or not, it's not going to have much of an impact. You have an appointment tomorrow to see if uh, my lightheaded blackouts or me actually having seizures? Well, I hope you're just uh, maybe, like, underfed <laughs> and not having, you know, seizures. I wish for your medical health, all right? Bless my heart. Well, I, because of the, I didn't, I didn't catch that. The whole "see you next Tuesday" thing. I've never had anyone you like petulant enough to use it on me. I guess. Hundred bits. I am hoping to take a few things into game dev at some point. I would like to make a game at some point that uses some good AI. Oh, an AI focused game. You know what? I've still held out that we haven't really seen much of development in the way enemy AI plays in games for a while now. It's been like stagnant for. Feels like forever. I would love to see like a game that instead of like focusing on graphics, focus on having just like the most robust like enemy AI to do interesting things. That's my idea of a dream game right now. Just like give me something new that makes me play it in an interesting way. And I'll buy it. What's up, Guardian? Just got here. You finished the game? No, we're actually just starting, so you're just in time. Did you send this game already or not? I have not sent this game. But I plan to. I've actually, when it comes to sending the Silent Hill series, I've only sent the crappier Silent Hill games. So we're talking Downpour and Homecoming. Uh, have not sent one. Well, technically, I've sent Silent Hill one. I just haven't released it yet. And I'll be sending the Silent Hill two remake when that comes out this year. Right, haunted. Yeah, we gotta like we're at the haunted mansion chat. The haunted mansion. Possible that it's seizures because one of my uncles on my mom's side is epileptic. Mm, as long as it doesn't like affect your quality of life going forward, I just gotta avoid like flashing lights, I guess. You know, I think Silent Hill is like the only game I I will accept 
a noise filter on at this point. Like, if I see a noise filter in any other game, I'm like, turn that shit off. Turn it off. I don't want it. But for some reason, it just works in Silent Hill because, I don't know, it just feels like it being dirty and, like, bad reception is part of it. The static, yeah. If you look at the, if you look at the, 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 qual the video, you can see, like, it has, like, the static filter over it. I generally, any game that has that, it, like, it triggers, like, my agin up. <laughs> like, I will, like, be irrationally angry seeing it. And if I don't have an option for turning it off, I will, like, probably not even play it. But Silent Hill is, like, the only one I truly will, like, you know what? I like the way it looks here. And all the other Silent Hill games. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready. Oh, you meant the audio? No, but see the you can see like the visual. It's very faint. It's like maybe it doesn't show up as well on stream because of you know encoding. Uh, but it's there. Trust me. Help! Help! Do you hear those voices? A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said Isn't it kind of weird that this family? like attraction ride still works because perfectly I even inside Silent Hill's home? It's not caused anyway, by flashing lights. It usually I'm happens lying. from the stretching or standing up too fast. Oh, uh, I uh, hell, I've sometimes had I that. I just always like the old brain freeze. The truth is like if you see how, if I stand up too much, I'll get light headed. Oh, I see the shadow over there. Jump scare in three, two, one. <laughs> I think the voice actor is oh, supposed to sound like Vincent Price. He's yeah, that, and he's also meant to sound like he's a little hokey. Where is the it said the S word. You need to put an S warning on your. What's the S word again? Suicide. Oh yeah, he unalived himself. There's Chad. There are certain phrases I really hate. I hate having to say unalive. I hate anyone who has, who like uses the word heckin' chonker. <laughs> it's a heckin' chonker right there. Honkerino. I'm gonna like put together a list of words. Those are, those are, those are some of them already. No more use of chonker, all right? It's illegal. What's up, Luggy? Welcome back. All right, here this we go. Let's get chased by the flashlight. Old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. Chonkers is an acceptable phrase for cats, though. No, it's been overused by I'm my so millennial sorry. brethren. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. All right. Well, let me save it here. We're just going to survive. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or Says the guy who ironically has yacht in... No, that is ironically I have yacht and Rizzler in my stream tags. Where are you getting this unironically? You think those are put there because I'm being serious? Those are there just because they're ridiculous like clown words. And you know what? Tags don't matter. Whatever you say... You, are you, are you deciding for me? Are you are you robbing me of my agency, good sir? You dare rob me of my agency <laughs> and my decisions to put do clownish bullshit. Ah, that was supposed to be the exit. 
Run. What's that soundtrack of like the run? It's like run. That's what we got going on here right now. How does red light kill you, by the way? I thought red light therapy was actually pretty healthy for you. This is like giving credits to the fact that, hey, you're killing yourself when you go to those saunas. Oh, how about red light therapy sessions? Hey, welcome to help. In the, in the world of Silent Hill, though, red light therapy, incredibly fatal. Instant, even. Doing okay, this is not the right roller coaster, is it? What are some some games you won't sin no matter how bad they are, or rather because of how bad they are? Uh, there's several like truly terrible, wretched games that I don't really have any interest in sinning because they're just crap from top to bottom, and there's no real point. Like Ride to Hell Retribution. Like, you'd think, like, oh, sin this game, Darty, it's real bad, but I prefer to make sin videos on games that have redeeming qualities, or at least somewhat. Not just something that everyone knows is shit, and I would just be dunking on the same thing everyone else has already dunked on and mentioned. Uh, so the idea of doing it is, is, like, one, playing it is unfun, and sinning it wouldn't be fun for me either. Door doesn't seem locked, but I can't open it. Could it be rusted? not strong enough to budget no matter how much I pull. There's got to be a way. Do I have an item? Hmm, there's a jewel inside. Like a little red tablet. My morning after pill chat. Only, only, Dartigan only dunks where no one has dunked before. I mean, to a degree, I, like, yeah, that is true. I like sh showing people, like, games they love and showing it in a way they've never seen, you know, shown before. Like, show them things they didn't notice when they played through it. So, sending really good games has always been my preference. Alright, I think I need, like, oil. I must have missed it while running past all the enemies. This column here, wouldn't that work? What do you mean? I don't know what she... What does she mean by this column, wouldn't that work? Like she wants... She's looking at this, like, thing like I really need it. What? Whole new world at Prince. A whole new world, a fantastic point of view. Da -da -da. Oh, I see. I gotta get in there. But how? There's no door.
Wait, maybe I crawl to the window? Yeah, it looks like there's items there, but I have, there's no door to get into it. There's a lever. This Nine Inch Nails concert is getting out of hand. Your favorite emoji is here? Yeah, I added that one a couple days ago, actually. 100 bits from World of Elsire. Bloodborne looks worse than I remember. Honestly, just with this sound alone playing a year, it's scarier than Bloodborne you could ever hope it be. Amphitheater. Look, it's not an amphitheater, but it's not sunken into the ground, is it? Hmm. I think that's important to a degree. But before we grab it, let me look around. got a chain. Oh, I think I know what I use the chain for now. You've got a red shoe. Okay, I don't really know what to use that for, though. <laughs> One shoe, blood red, it was above the stage. Too small for me to wear. Not that I want. Heather has big feet, is what I. We've now been officially canonized. Big feet. No, don't say that. I didn't. The game did. find the other red shoe you can click your heels together and go back to Kansas that'd be an interesting like secret ending for the game I think but I don't believe that's what you do with the red shoe chain to the door handle. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Attach the chain to the column. Alright, that's that part done. Now, I think we use the red shoe to actually, like, activate the switch, maybe? Oh no, it just it just opened now for some reason. Mm -hmm. 
You can't lie to yourself. Eating pancakes in the PM doesn't make a dinner. See, I don't agree with that. Like, what, what actually makes a breakfast food a breakfast food other than a social construct that we've all agreed something is a breakfast food? The thing is, breakfast itself is a social construct. <laughs> it doesn't actually exist, it's just we just made it up. It's just like eating food at a given period of time is anything special. There's no reason it has to like contain only a certain, you know, foods. You want to have the steak in the morning? That's your, that's, your, that's what you're having in the morning. What makes anything beyond a social, pretty much everything this for society is going to be a social construct. They're all social norms, like eating norms, culture, all of it we just like decide upon for like sometimes arbitrary reasons, sometimes for good reasons, sometimes for bad reasons. Breakfast is whatever you have after waking up in the morning. Well, I mean, yeah, you can call that that. But it, it's just a weird term we decided to like come up with. In fact, I'm pretty sure breakfast was something created by like marketing companies, wasn't it? They wanted to sell you breakfast food it, it, itself. You're late. Are you hurt? Like it's the Can't it's the way you start your morning. It's <laughs> Buy our cheap cereal. I'll call an ambulance. What? You think an ambulance is gonna show up here? I think we'll come. Don't worry. I'm used how, to it. How naive are you? <laughs> Boomer. Getting yourself hurt like that? Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? You can really hear the room she's recording these lines in, can you? What do I do if you die? What do we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. I mean, in this economy, so am I right? I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. Looks very unwell. We don't really know what happened to him. He just got attacked by that lady even though he had his gun trained on her. You, you remind me of my son. Interesting claim. He said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his back. That reminds me of, of you, him, how? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. No. What's up, Green? How you doing? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. No problem. Translation of Japanese dialogues were in 2000s were so awkward, FF10 suffered, yep, but in really good ways. Ha 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 ha. What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Yeah, you might be right. How did you know he was pointing the gun at you?
So I kind of need you to leave. I need to get up to the, you know, the Ferris wheel. What is it? I just came back. I just wanted to shine this so bright ass light in your face. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? She really likes to rub it in, doesn't she? You just rest. Don't die on me, okay? Why don't we talk to him again? Same cutscene. What is it? I just. Yep. <laughs> All right. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't fall off. Came from over there. Heather needs a new death. I don't think that's what she's here looking for. Now let's save after all the cutscenes. Don't want to do those again. Titus Laugh remix of Tower Knight theme is a treasure. A tre There's a remix of that? Um. got a doll head. This symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. Still makes me feel creepy though, like someone's peeking into my brain. Yeah, I don't really need to save, I just saved. You know, I should have visited, when I, back when I was in Salem, I should have visited one of those, like, uh, fortune teller, you know, fraudsters. Just for the hell of it. Just to say, you know what, I got my fortune done. You know, just like in all the, like, the really bad entertainment I've seen over the years. Uh, what about you? Do you open? You do. Also, 100 bits of a musical. Yeah, I thought I was just going to be the struggling writer until my writing actually took off, so this new opportunity will hopefully rocket me towards something. Oh, Oh, did your oh yeah, remember you said you were writing before. Did it go well for you? Give us an update, man. What's been going on? Hmm. It's a snow white doll. Yo, I thought Snow White was a Latina. And the dwarves were like normal sized people. How am I doing? Pretty good. I'm making the worst jokes possible tonight. <laughs> it's a Cinderella doll. This photo is on the ground. What's this? Uh, are these photos of those dolls? Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Alright, uh, maybe I put the doll head in her hand. 
<clears throat> Put the doll head on Snow White's hand. Uh, you basically resign yourself to writing and narrating a series of my own making. It's been cultivated for two years. I am 19 episodes in, each an original story written and voiced by me, and I'm currently working on two back-to-back -back episodes. Simple plan, but one with a minimal seems to be working. Hey, hopefully you can monetize it soon, then. I don't really know what I do with the Cinderella doll, though. Looks like there's something in front of the Cinderella doll casting a shadow as well. Oh, the red slipper. The red slipper. Forgot I even had that. Uh, but what? I didn't do anything. I must need something else. Hmm. Do you find dolls off-putting? Not really. Like, not that I can say anyways. Uh, but, uh, I, I can understand why some people don't like them due to, the, like, the soulless kind of nature of them, of their eyes. But I've never really, like, oh, doll, creepy. Yeah, I must be missing an item. I don't know where to find it, because I have no map of this place. What's up, Polygon? How you doing? Let me go in one more time, make sure I'm not doing that wrong. Like, what else could I put down? I might need something else for, like, the doll head, maybe? You're not missing anything? Nothing happening when I put stuff down, though. Oh, I guess it opened this up. Alright. There's a dragon that guards a treasure chest. It's just a prop and not scary at all. Oh sweet, I get to read this while this plays in my ear. <laughs> Dahlia is the one who said it, said that girl was a demon, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable, I mean appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Uh, what's the drunkest I've ever been? I've never been drunk before. Something's not normal anyway. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date and signature at the end. It's dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry, Dad.
This is the true orgasm music. Yo, we make the best music. There really is no reason to fight anything here, is there? Imagine not being drunk. Yeah, I've, I've never been drunk before. I've the most I've ever actually gotten is buzzed, and that's as far as I allowed it to go. I don't really have any interest in getting like you know wasted. The different, it's never looked fun to me. You know, I'm noticing on Twitch there's been a lot of like bot sellers recently. Like, hey, would you like to buy viewers? By the way, if you're an aspiring streamer. Or just content creator in general, never buy your views. It only hurts you. Don't give in to their 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 arguments. Alright. Well that's all this. I'm American? Wait, you're all oh, you're talking to someone else. <laughs> Buying in this economy, I know, right? Hey, Dorgan. Hey, Chad. How are we doing? You know, I'm about to fight myself, so I'm doing pretty good. I feel this horse is alive. Well, alive may not be the word for it. It's no ordinary carousel horse. It's not made of wood or plastic. I don't know, but it's just kind of strange. That's all. This is such a cool and like imaginative you know, visual. I'd love to see this in like high de def graphics these days. So like the best the PS2 could pull off. It's just like here's a dead horse on a meat hook on a carousel. There's a memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 counts four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. If you kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the twelfth death. Okay, they don't have to, like, kill the horses here. I get to figure out which ones are alive. Kill the meat horses, you die.
tells me this one isn't alive. I'm you, but goth. Making me stronger. For her, the block actually works. Very kill Billish right now. I'm not sure if I'm hurting her or not. There we go. Ultimate cat fight. good actually uh oh this music is pretty like sick by the way being orchestrated by a dog, I know, right? But those Shiba Inus, man, they know what they're doing. so much health. I'm not doing this fight wrong, am I? I said, I don't think I have to kill the horses again. Uh oh. oh she got a submachine gun. They say this is a serious game, chat. Such a psychological, psychological deep in thinking, you know, processing game. <laughs>
Would be nice if I could pistol whip enemies because it seems pretty effective. Serious hurt to me. We saved so much ammo. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of suffering and, cruel, suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, uh, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that, since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room, either. Not death, but a homecoming. <laughs> oh, we didn't- we saved ammo, but we didn't use a lot of health items. Unfortunately. You're so moved. She has four forms. You're on the last part of the fight. Yeah, I like the idea of fighting like a ghost of like Alessa, but this fight wasn't very good. It never has been. So it's just super awkward. Since it's so drawn out. Uh, someone else said uh, pe people agree that after two, the series started going downhill. Like I said, I feel like this is the last truly good one. Like four could have been great, but it was like marred by some like design choices. I really like how trippy and weird four gets and some of the stuff they tried to do with it. It just didn't execute properly. None of the fights are that good. Well, true. The series is, you know, not known for that exactly. Oh, well, I think in I think they did like the boss fights like... Silent Hill 2 doesn't really have many boss fights in it. Uh, but, like, the fights that are, are in it are pretty good because they're more creepy than actually difficult. Like, the, you know, the, you know, the, what was it? What was the, the Bed Daddy is still, like, one of the best, like, horror game design monsters I've ever seen. Uh, as is Pyramid Head. Like, you know, the, the big, I think it's called Big Daddy or something like that. Is always, like, he's overshadowed by, uh, Abstract Daddy. Abstract Daddy is, like, overshadowed by uh, Pyramid Head from the same game. But, honestly, in some ways, Abstract Daddy is probably a better monster design for what it, like, stands in for. And it's so subtly put in there that you don't even, like, know know what you're looking at until you think on it more heavily. Whereas the Pyramid Head, they just kind of straight up tell you he's about punishment. Or, like, self-punishment, I guess. Bed frame incest rape monster. <laughs> well, when you make it literal like that, And also the room you fight it in is just like, holy shit, what is this? <laughs> Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us, these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. Fleshlight room, but also yeah, it's like pistons, push, it's like a meat room with like pistons in it. It's like, and you have, you know, that girl screaming in the corner the entire time. It's like some, it's probably the most powerful moment in that game, actually. I give you un, unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. Silent Hill 4 grated on my nerves so badly, I had to force myself to finish it. Parts of it were good, but going back and forth. Yeah, like I said, I, I think 4 had a really solid idea, but it was like kneecapped by really bad design choices here and there. And level design, that wasn't that great. 
As proof of your miraculous power, guide your obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise. O Lord, we will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. Those wall pistons represent exactly what now? Need to hear this described in full. You know what they, they, they represent. <laughs> it's not that difficult to think of once you figure out the rest of the puzzle I've already given you. O oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, show us with your blessing. Shower us with your blessings. O oh Lord, favor us with your abundance. I am interested. I mean, I'm very uh, down on the future of this series, but I am intrigued by Silent Hill F. Based on the only trailer we've seen of it so far. And what they're going to do with it. Apparently it has a very good writer behind it from some other Japanese work. Uh, so, you know, maybe that'll be an Obi-Gun. Who knows? There's something written on the door. Still, Konami, that's the problem with anything with them, isn't it? This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother, admit your sins, and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Silent Hill Forte F. We don't know what the F stands for. How did you get here? It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? Just as well. Luring you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Not yet. The time is not Ah, Mr. Yet. Kennedy, you think you're an action the movie hero with your lines, do you? When the she really is turning a little bit into Leon, isn't she? Will arrive. After the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Mr. Kennedy. That's not what I want. Not you. Alessa, your true self. But I am Alessa. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. Alessa, is it you? I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. I like how she the actually just kind of trolling her. Cleansed with fire. Just for like that the hell of it. That's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need so God's salvation. the female salvation. sidekick die on UNSL Listen, and Sun Hill 4? Yeah, I got her killed at the end. And I can't really place it. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! She does, yeah, but I don't know why she would, because she was raised... She's like American and was raised here. You despise me, don't you? You're damned right I do! That's good. I guess they thought, you know what? Make her fancy. Give her an English accent. Trying to sell heightened, yes. That snootiness to it. Uh, I think it would have been fine, though, if she just had a regular American accent or something. Vaguely, Brit vaguely British. 
studio behind making the Silent Hill F is Neobards Entertainment, aka the guys who are known for ports of old Resident Evil games to other platforms. Uh, which ports sp specifically? Old time eight country posh accent. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't really sound like old time country posh to me. Where's everyone going? Bingo. Bye, Heather. On behalf of witches, Claudia isn't one of us. Well, she's technically not a witch. She's a cultist. <clears throat> Pseudo Mid Atlantic. Remember horde ammo for now? I know. That's why I've been didn't try to kill anything for like the entire stream so far. <laughs> I also need to, like, hoard as many health supplies, because those are also really important for the final boss. You got the Eye of Night tarot card. I'm just going to, for now on, call that the villain accent. <laughs> she kind of dips into British. She's probably drawing on it from, like, previous, like, you know, acting history to, like, come up with this character's voice. Faith. Faith, Arthur. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait and hope for the day when the path of paradise will be opened. Promise. But there's God's strength ran out and she collapsed. All the world's people grieved. This unfortunate event, yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. God is a redhead, apparently. Something I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play anywhere. Always time to learn. <laughs> <clears throat> How am I? Yeah, I'm pretty good. We're beating a game tonight. What is this? Origin. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They despaired, stuck in the eternal quagmire. We need Jill to play Moonlight Sonata. This may be one of the few uh, horror video games that has a piano in it that doesn't require it to be used to solve a puzzle where you play keys. Birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Feeling pity for the sadness that had overrun the earth, God was born from these two people. Silent Hill 1, yeah, Silent Hill 1 had one. Salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy. And God took endless time away from the people. And we got what? Uh, creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god, Zuchikabara, Zuchilabara, the yellow god, Lobzel, Lobzel Vith, many gods and angels, finally God set out to create paradise where people would be happy just by being there. And we've already looked at the other two paintings. <laughs> This is where I need to be. There's no reason to go back to the amusement park. So the amusement park connects directly to this church, does it? Hmm. What an amusement park. Hey, maybe they need faith here. Or maybe the amusement park was funded by the church. What a great map. God, 
Please forgive me. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your... Yeah, why are we doing the Catholic life? tradition in this cult? Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please, also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God. I'm a child. Trembling Forget who this is supposed to be you're talking to. Is it's not your know, Delilah, is it? Or Dahlia, I mean. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please. Forgive me. Uh you got you thinking on it? Uh, I, for, I think this determines your ending a little bit, doesn't it? I forgive you. Not in your first playthrough. Only in New Game Plus. Are uh, you just going to stand there? Okay, awkward cutscenes. There's nothing more to be said. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Dahlia, like, having, like, remorse over what she did or not. I'm not really sure about that one. Stick your penis to this hole. You have a very twisted idea of what the confessional booth is used for. You mean Claudia? Uh, no, Dahlia was the, uh, Alyssa's mother in the first game. It wouldn't make sense for Claudia to be in there saying those things, so I always kind of figured that's supposed to be maybe, like, Dahlia. A little bit, though it doesn't really sound like her either. But it's mainly just, like, metaphorical anyways. No one's actually in the other booth talking to you. They kind of do something like that in Silent Hill 2 as well, I believe, with the, uh, with the confessional booth. You should make a que emote for YouTube chat members. Uh, what would it be? Just a chocobo saying que? I could, I do have new animated emote slots on Twitch. I could make a que animated emote, I guess. But I, I, I kind of want a Chadley emote. <laughs> Knock me out of the thing. Chadley Chocobo. You can't combine these two things. Is this a person? Not quite, maybe, but I don't feel like pulling back the sheet to the seat. It's not disturbing. Shit. Hmm. 
got handgun bullets. That tape. There are a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. It represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun in Herald in Her Her Heraldry. It symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are, rep are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. Hold on a minute. Okay, I thought maybe the one we had was like blue. <laughs> Have Chadley cosplay a choke. Okay, that is a very advanced emote. Emotes have to be kind of simple because they're very tiny. Actually, let me check my ammo. 63 bullets for that. Six with the shoddy. And I'm stocking up submachine gun rounds. And plenty, plenty chat of beef jerky. Gonna need that. <laughs> That's so vital. Switch weapons because I don't want to use bullets right now. I should heal. Uh, yeah, probably should. <laughs> I'm running low on heal stocks here. Big guy. Greetings, Alpha Clowns. That is, I like that term. <laughs> What's up, my Alpha Clowns? The picture of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. Oh yeah, this is the one we gotta follow footprints, isn't it? Girls' cries and footsteps disappear behind it. After all, Will you move the picture of the angel. Yes. Oh, a door. But first. St. Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's blade. St. Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God. St. Nicholas, miraculous hands, a doctor of God. Hmm. This circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on the paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as Alessa, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. Is this Scientology? Might as well be. Why does a light tape to the front of your shirt cast your shadow? I mean, it is a light uh, held up close to your body will still cast a shadow, but it wouldn't. Ca it's one PS2 lighting, so they couldn't do well. Tell me, PS2 port. You're right. It wouldn't cast a shadow in front of me like you're seeing it right there, but it would cast one behind me. But eh, shadow tech. You know, we may look. Just having a shadow that wasn't just a dot under you it was impressive enough. Like, hey, look at that shadow. Shadow technology. Shadow tra I mean... It ain't exactly ray tracing.
nice map, nerd. Hey, I didn't draw it. I just picked it up off the wall. I want to continue exploring the top floor. Does that have Chadley wear a chocobo hat? Chad, yeah, you know we're very lucky we didn't get Chadley in like his own like bait. Oh shit. Forgot you turned into a regular enemy here. I think you're not as nearly as tough as you were when I fought you as a boss though. Or are you? I'm almost dead. God damn it. Stop almost killing me every five minutes. <laughs> Also, uh, Montezuma, uh, 20 memberships gifted on YouTube. Thank you, my dude. God damn. Uh, if you guys got a gift membership for Montezuma, send him a thank you note. Just slip it into his envelope at your, or his, you know, nearest mail. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, when I get, like, a gift bomb on me, I forget how to talk. <clears throat> but thank you. Uh, but I uh, hope everyone also appreciates it as well. And hopefully you're liking the stream. Like maybe your finger slipped. I don't know. Silent Hills. Oh wait, is that is that a mention of that you know, Code Jima game? Oh uh, no. <clears throat> also, uh, Aaron Hines, thank you for uh, your second month of being a member. Thanks everyone for making this fun here. Hey, well, a stream is only as good as its chat. I've always held that. <clears throat> just you can't just have a good streamer alone. You need a good, healthy chat. Sunhill's ancient gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. Even though remakes would be nice, I think it would I could live with the first four Silent Hills just being ported in modern platforms, but they aren't, sadly. Uh yeah, true. I think it could be nice. Also, Aaron Hines, thank you for your own 10 gifted memberships. Uh you guys are like being super generous. Did I say a particularly good joke like a minute ago? Uh, but thank you. Uh, be sure to thank anyone who gives you a gift sub chat. You're getting sleepy, Rakatosh? If you need to, you're going to lurk till you fall asleep. I've been told my voice helps. See, like in, in my YouTube chat, someone just like spammed the uh, anime girl, spammed the, you know, the eargasm emo emoji to prove it. Also, Super Tramp gifted five memberships just now. So that's like. 35 memberships in like the past like five minutes alone on top of the five from earlier from super tramp so 40 already in one night thank you we're all getting love we're all showing that there's faith in humanity tonight i think i'm not sure what it means but it's a positive what are my thoughts on current ray tracing tech in games i recently picked up an rtx 4080 super and i Gotta say, Alan Wake 2, the ray tracing turned on Max is some of the most visually stunning eye candy I have ever beheld. Uh, I like the way ray tracing is... Uh, I like ray tracing. I, I like technology, and I like games looking very good. Uh, and ray tracing kind of currently... Or path tracing, actually, is even better than that. Currently represents, currently represents, like, the best way you can make a game, you know, look next-gen. So I'm in favor of more of it. Uh, obviously, I don't want people to, like, pay out tons of money. I don't think it's worth paying out thousands of dollars solely for ray tracing right now. So I would say wait until it's more economical to get a card that can support it. Uh, but that, because uh, I think the 5000 series is going to be like $2,000 for a GPU. Uh, but I rock a 4080 as well. So I've seen what you mean with Alan Wake too. It looks very good. However, as much as I like it, I can't recommend buying a really expensive card for someone who use it. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When the religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. This is them trying their best to explain why you fought the Incubus in the first game. Because <laughs> it didn't really make a lot of sense. Like, oh, why does this cult worship the fucking Incubus? Hmm? Why'd they worship that? 
We gotta retcon that. Retcon it. Retcon it. <laughs> the moon. Go with Pop's idea for a Chadley emote. I didn't think I saw that that idea. Hiya, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? This guy always has that coke energy stare, doesn't he? Some kind of unwanted pest. Can you send or at least stream Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare? Uh, recently got ported to PS5. Is that the one that came out originally on Xbox 360? On Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, because I actually own that on 360. Yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to the one for the PS1. Same God oh, I don't, I don't really know much about that one. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. Did I ever be like a dragon, My uh, infinite wealth? No, I haven't finished it. I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. That is a weird way of putting it. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. Y'all really? <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. A little bit, not gonna lie. Are you talking about the monsters? Don't worry. It's just a joke. This guy has way too much teeth. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. How would you expect her to get something you didn't you tell her to get? Thing? That's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this. He just gave us like a D&D &D rule book. It's actually not that important. Yeah, his mouth looks more unnatural than it should do because should be because all of his teeth are es essentially incisors. <laughs> no, uh, no uh, molars or uh, canines there. Canines, what? No, canines. Canines. Uh, so it's like he's got all front row teeth. Got the book Other World Laws. <laughs>
Euro go Euro gamer Chad lad with a que hat. Euro gamer Chad lad with a que hat. What's a que hat? This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Vernon Seven Crest or the Seal of Metatron. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster. As it is also difficult to control, it is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metatron, or Metrotron, M Metroton. After the ang angel Metatron. Jesus, do you have to, can't you just call them the same thing? Or Metrot, or what the fuck? <laughs> All right, there is like, chat. Bears the name Metroton. After the angel Metatron or Metroton. <laughs> pick a name, all right? Just pick a name. Also known as the agent of God. Metatron or Metroton? Book on tarot here. Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card number 0 through 21 has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction, and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardner deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted the otherworldly transcendental existence, i.e. God. It's just a MAGA hat, but it's okay. One that would probably not read well in a tiny emote. Usually if you want words in, in an emote, they have to be very, take up most of the emote, because otherwise they won't be readable. All right, uh, let's see. Where do I go now with these tarot cards? Maybe I can get to that one lock door. Banger map. Look, I am glad you appreciate my crayon drawings. <laughs> I want to point out that the big dude at the very bottom... Uh, lying on the ground, I think, is a childhood representation of those dudes who hump the floor. I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vaginas break down and cause all sorts of problems. Everything breaks down. Not just like, you know, one particular thing. And I put it on the fridge. Hey, if my kid drew this, I'd definitely put it on the fridge. Daddy, I've drawn a map of the house. Now you won't get lost. That's a cute shit. <laughs> what I was talking about. So I, look, that wasn't my statement. I was just like, you know, reading it out in chat and then, you know, clarifying. <laughs> sheet of paper here, but it's blank. All right, I think we're done in the library. Let's go down to the second floor. Wow. How much damage does that do to me? Sup, Dart? Are you very silent on that hill? I'm monotone on this hill, bitch. I'm not silent, I just don't speak in a loud voice. Monotone hill, though, probably won't sell very well as a name. Let's check the other areas first. Also, Kate, I just real I don't know why I didn't realize you like raided a minute ago. <laughs> Saw you're being silent, but uh but uh shit now I'm like lost I forget what I was about to say. Uh thank you for the raid by the way. I got distracted by chat reading books and other weird things. Also, here's some great music for you. Ah, oh, this mm, yes. It's like gentle whale song.
I think I know my way. I wasn't finished checking the hallway. <laughs> yes, you, that, there's your real ASMR experience. What were you playing tonight, by the way? Here we go. Here's the real gem. Mm, just let it sink in. Vibe out to this inner peace. Some Sims 4, turn my Sims dream life into chaos accidentally. That is all anyone do in Sims, is turn it into like chaos. I've never known someone's Sims game to not to go smoothly. If you're into religious symbolism and media, then the Persona games are right up your alley. They have it in spades. Well, haha. <laughs> funny you should mention that. Hold on, but the Eden. Uh, I am, I'm going to have a stretch goal on my Patreon to sin one of them. No, don't knock me off, don't knock me off, don't knock me off. Oh, so Just normally do the chaos part on purpose. What are you going to be playing after The Sims? I'm done. I'm, I remember you did mention to me you wanted to play uh, either Lethal Company. There's also that other game that came out recently where it's like content warning. It seems pretty good. Oh wow, what a, what a great place is this. Look, I'm just looking for tarot cards, alright? Tarot cards or the Persona thing. Tarot cards are in all so sorts of fiction because everyone knows about them, so they say, yeah, they would put them in there. Not fully sure yet, I'd be down for either of those, though, if you're ever down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're also cheap. They're only like a couple bucks to buy either one. What's with that camera angle? Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, the, the, the bloody footprints. What happened at Baldur's Gate 3? I mean, I guess we just stopped playing it. <laughs> Can't force people to like play a game, you know. Where are we at? Secret room. I believe tarot cards are also kind of sort of theme in Cyberpunk. They are. You can find all of them. Oh, this is all our old our old hospital room. Something stuck in this book. Tarot card. This book, hmm. I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. A Glophitus. Red liquor or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. Arabian... Uh, I believe, but uh, what's YouTube chat saying? Persona is all about tarot symbolism and love. I think Persona like puts everything it can into itself. Japanese high school, you know, Greek gods, Christian gods, Jewish, you know, Old Testament, you name it. Eglotidus, look, there, uh, it's got an A in there, I want to use it. Let me use the A's, alright? Uh, taken from a herb with the power to smell evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied, wait, people be vaping this stuff? As a poultice to guard against demons. It's powered, but as it is, it is powerful, but as it is rare, is extremely difficult to obtain. Well, a drug dealer got a whole couple vials of it in the previous, in the first game, you know. You know, load the tub, all that stuff put together. Yeah, Lovecraft is in there too. There's a picture here, but it's not my style at all. Art critic. Uh, Heather here. It's really powerful, especially against living. Well, I don't think these are living things we're fighting. The picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I was always like that back then. Twenty-four years ago, M Dahlia used me to summon God. God was my in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up in here in this hospital room. Stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was fourteen. 
God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them because I am not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Non, a good non-political game, chat. Good non-political game. Uh, looks like there's some kind of drug here. There's just a name on the label, no description or anything. It's too risky, never mind. No, we'll take the protein powder at the very least. Thank you, thank you, sweet, sweet parasocial love. Ain't no love like parasocial love that ain't real. Ain't no love like a positive, like, you know, I love your guys' comments. Oh, keep posting them. Such a great, wonderful community. That, that kind of bullshit. How did I get your journal? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's the, that's how you know the parasocial love is true. I'm reading your journal entries. Oh, hello, big guy. Why did I bother? Oh, Volatil's over there. Shit, I can't sit and look at him, though, because you're in the way. How do you become Dargan's tier 5 sub -synth? Uh, It involves... Uh, well... I haven't put together the procedures yet, actually. <laughs> Look, do you have a shrine of me anywhere? It's gonna require at least, like, one shrine. I don't think that's asking too much. I mean, why wouldn't you want to... I, I think, sh like, you know, creepy, like, parasocial shrines are actually a nice aesthetic in a living space. So you, like, walk into, a like, a dark closet. There's, like, photographs... And like, like little like handmade dolls in there, like pinned to a wall. It's comforting. Hmm, this is some sort of landscape. Where is it from again? Well, it doesn't matter. There's playing cards on the floor. I used to play a lot. I remember little Claudia. Oh, I was a gambler in my former life. Remember little Claudia always had a, hand, a hard time winning. That made her cry. Got a brash key. When you don't stream, chat worships a golden cow in your absence. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I don't know why I don't have a golden calf emo yet. Uh, what's this? Hmm, a memo book. Something's written here. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe that what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door enough for this idle chit-chat. Never this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No, them. Last entry was written some 17 years ago. And here's Dad's signature. What's this memo book doing here? Oh wait, it's 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 the, it's the freaking notebook that, you, that has like a nonsense word on it <laughs> or sketchbook. They actually brought that over. <laughs> if you don't know the opening like intro video of Silent Hill 1, like Cheryl is there with like a sketchbook, but it's like Chikodnogduno or just like random gibberish on the front of it. And they'd like, you know what? That was intentional. We're going with it. Oh no, they ch Oh, it actually has words now. It's drawing block. In the original, like, PS1, it's like... Chardnog Grok. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like gibberish. Because apparently they didn't bother to, like, look how to smell it. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, here's a picture of Dad. 
You, you captured his eyes beautifully. Really awful work. It said, Kuwigger Dinok. Yeah, Kuwigger Dinok. I can definitely see where they got drawing block from that. What's this doing here? The door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. This is some, this is some Dr. Sue stuff. What to do then with all these? I'll tell you straight and I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row. But that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground, to his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, through his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, full of crescent floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown, on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, do you think you can tell me why? You always look up at the night sky. Do you have it now? You didn't forget. One major point you must not omit. And now at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to help you keep on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. So you'll open the door. I'm just sure that there'll be nothing beyond it but frightening peril. Forget about that. Just stay and play or else I'll be left here all alone all day. Yeah, we need more cards. I think we only got like three of them right now. Now we need six more. Jesus. Thanks for the bedtime story. Hey, people are always asking for it. For some reason, she always drew monsters like she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia too. A nice... D what? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's meaningless to me. My clothes from when I was seven, they don't fit me now. Good thing, too. But they'll make it an alternate costume, maybe. I know, it wasn't me. Alyssa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. I'm real quiet since that drop. <laughs> how many whacks do you give? Look, this is like getting into that kind of question, like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pump? No one really knows. All right, uh, let's see. I think I need to go back and use that key on the first floor. There's just something silly about me running around with a katana and all this. You gotta admit, that just looks a little ridiculous. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hit me in the face with that as soon as I open the door. All right, uh, all the way down. I can't kill them, Chad, because I need to conserve ammo. <laughs> so we'll go up this way, and that'll take us back to the door. Straight down. I need to stop playing Valheim while watching this. I just flung my camera at 360 at that noise. 
Yeah, I, I played a lot of Valheim myself. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oof. Meaty punch, but thankfully he missed. They can run. I know. Run. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. I forgot how fucked up this place gets. I think this is like the best they ever did the Hell World stuff, by the way, in terms of like visuals. This is like the one time they truly nailed it. It's the lot to again, isn't it? Though he looks like he's wearing suspenders now. friend. He's technically like a god who like makes things work or something, I think. Well, you always see him like doing maintenance and stuff. Oh, hey, we're back in the Silent Hill 1 classroom. What a tiny chair. I can't sit in it anymore. Thank God. Go home, drop dead, thief. Hmm. This used to be Alessa's. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. Yeah, but here's the thing. The whole, like, scratching and, like, like destroying the student's desk is, like, a Japanese way of bullying. That doesn't really, like... I don't think I've ever heard that happening in, like, a Western... Like, America as a form of bullying. Of, like, carving your na carving up someone's desk and filling it with trash. Yeah, it's, like, a very Japanese, like, ostracization and bullying, you know, technique. Yeah, we would graffiti our own desks. But in Japan, like having if you like you're not they don't do that. So if your desk gets all marred up, you gotta clean it up. Carving a desk is a good way to get a bill sent to your parents. I don't know, I did it all the time. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was a little rebel. I would I would carve, you know, my, my initial somewhere, usually on the side of the desk, not the front of it or like the face of it. You know, like that that wood the wood particle stuff in between. Carve it in there. Big guys, why are you everywhere? Hmm. Oh, we can put the cassette here. There's a tape deck here. It looks perfectly usable. about what happened here 17 years ago. You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so, she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. 
Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. Hmm. Look, I just want tarot cards. What are these letters? No, maybe a bunch of suggestions. People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. Also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. If he really is he really the right person for such a position, I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there's if there was some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkiveness, for the depth of our faith? LS. You're off to bed, Jim. Have a, am I streaming tomorrow? I'm I'm trying to finish this tonight. So after I probably not, because I want to spend the next few days finishing up the FF7 video. So I probably won't be streaming until all the principal work on that is finished up. Because I want to get done with that. Put, launch the Patreon, get that going, and see how well that does, and then readjust everything. See uh, what I can do to make everything better. Because <laughs> who knows? Like I said, the Patreon stuff's new to me, so I've got, it's going to be a learning curve. I need to give myself time for all that. Have you played Haunting Ground? I have not. I've heard it's like maybe worth playing, but I've never played it myself. I've heard it's like really messed up in a lot of ways though. But you know what? Sometimes I like messed up entertainment. Though it might be, I've heard it's also a little difficult to play. No, don't you guys dare kill me. Even in this room, nothing is the enemy room, isn't it? Do you want to come here and waste your bullets? No, I'm just double checking, nothing in here. Nope, 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 nope. Let's leave it. <laughs> they just give you big enemy rooms every once in a while. You should, it's great. Uh, what, Patreon? Highly recommend what the, the Haunted Grounds game? Uh, yeah, at some point, I probably will. That along with like Rose Red. Tarot card. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. Looks like this is her diary. November 10th. She didn't die then, she was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to rebuild paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14th. Read the book of praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I've been searching for in there. How to awaken God. But it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16th. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves, Child Exploitation. Wow, deep... Wow, that's some heavy reading. Uh, I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, though, and that's what's hard. An old birthday card on the desk. She was so, so she was still hanging on to this. Happy birthday. The little Claudia. Happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. Here's to you, Nicola and Bard. Du, 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 du. Okay, so... I've kind of been everywhere that I can actually go to. So I guess we just need to go and, like, solve the puzzle now? Because I can't see... Well, no, there were... Wait, 
There was... Oh no, there's some rooms up there I need to go check out. Down the bottom floor. You're actually playing that game? What? Rose Red? Haunting Grounds? We've mentioned a couple different names here. <laughs> I can't wait till Kojima lis lis you know, releases his next like video game based around his like favorite music <laughs> music playlist. It's gonna be great. All right, I guess there's nothing else in this room. Metal Gear Solid Five, technically that and four. I believe that song plays in. There's five cards and all. Yeah, I've got four. I need one more. The well, next one would be down on this floor on the second floor and there's two there's two rooms at the top I didn't check out right past the elevator we can go all the way back now Peace Walker is your second favorite. Yeah, uh, that's the one I haven't actually played, is Peace Walker. At some point, I will. Because I hear it's actually pretty solid in terms of its plot. Though the gameplay from... Uh, uh, I think there's definitely issues with the gameplay since it originally was made for, like, PSP or something. But Pretty solid, I know. Wordplay, I know. It's, you know, I'm a wordsmith, Chad. I'm a bit of a genius. Son. All right, uh, let's see. Excuse me, big guys. Sorry to disturb your sleep. Went to the wrong room. Read this. I think I read this. Yep, read that already. I've been capturing guys with balloons since the PSP. Did you ever play Ground Zero? Even though it's more, like, yeah, I played. I, I that was I included that in the sin video actually for five. Since I felt that by Ground Zero was always supposed to be part of you know Phantom Pain, it's Konami you know, wanted to like make two games out of one, so they cut it off. Uh, so I put it into the GTA, 5, I mean GTA Five, this uh, Metal Gear Solid Five video where I thought it would have shown up originally. So I did send it. All right, moving onward. Move this door, yeah. But I love this uh, this like texture effect. They, uh, for some reason, you don't really see people do this effect anymore. Like we have the moving textures, and I love it. I don't know why. It's underused. I'm pretty sure this is like designed to mimic like what you would see under a microscope of like white blood cells. Attacking like bacteria and shit. And this is what it's like to be in a toaster. Moving textures are dope, especially when they're animated in a really unique way. At least Chico didn't die a virgin. Oh, wow, dude. That is some dark shit you just said. <laughs> like, incredibly friggin' dark. Oh, what a pleasant room. <laughs> Oh, thank God, bullets. 
So is Silent Hill literally about hell bleeding over into the real world? Technically not about hell, no. Uh, it's actually, I mean, you could definitely see, like, maybe how you would think hell. But it's actually about, uh, this, like, other world is what they call it. I mean, you might as well call it hell, but technically it's not. It's, it's hard, it's hard to get this across because it's never used in that, that terminology. It's just like this other world with like spirits and like other shit in it that can like, for some reason, you can like pull people into it. It doesn't really bleed over. Like right now in the t the actual town of Silent Hill, people are living their normal lives. It's just that there's other versions of Silent Hill you get pulled into if it wants you there. There's nothing important here. I haven't looked too closely though. Alright, that's all the tarot cards. Doors open. Inside there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe... No, they're definitely dead. The dark reflection. Yeah, it's more psychological. It's more like this is what your soul looks like. Is how I would put it. This is what your soul looks like. Your dark inside, dark and twisted. None of the books catch my eye. There's a musty diary on the bed. Did people shit on this game when it came out because it wasn't Silent Hill 2? I don't recall anyone shitting on it. This writing... Like, the first time I heard anyone, like, get critical of Silent Hill was usually Silent Hill 4. It's writing, is this Dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have this sense, even now, that that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she, how will, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. I think she means Dahlia, and I don't think that's... I don't think she was a sweet and gentle mother. That was ironically said. Didn't the other world in Silent Hill come into existence because Alessa was sacked? Yeah, but they've retconned a lot of Silent Hill 1. Uh, yeah, originally, like, the actually, the, they state in Silent Hill 1 that the hell world was going to be, it was like a threat that would bleed over and, like, consume the, the living world. But then they, like, decided, oh, you know, that's just something that happens in Silent Hill. It's actually not that bad, except for the people caught in it. But it can't really do anything else beyond that. <clears throat> you got stun gun batteries. It's kind of lame. Uh, eh, well, they didn't. They didn't really plan on the sequels at the time. Like Silent Hill One was like an experimental game put together by like a team of developers at Konami that were kind of like considered like losers to a degree. Like they were like considered not very good game developers, so they were all put into one game. <laughs> To make their own game or whatever for like a kind of like not big budget and they ended up producing silent hill which ended up being one of konami's best series well sort of all right i think we're ready to like solve the puzzle Interesting that they're remaking Silent Hill 2 before Silent Hill 1. Uh, that's because Silent Hill 2 doesn't require any of the story of Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 2 is standalone, since it has nothing to do with, like, really the cult, or, like, the god, or anything else. What the fuck? Oh, there's, like, an enemy in here now. I'm getting my ass kicked. So we 
go this way now. How's my health? Oh, I'll make it. You know, Silent Hill 2 is like, it doesn't require, like Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3 are the direct sequel in like, like this is the direct sequel to 1. 2, you don't, doesn't have any connection to it other than the town. So that's the reason they would like choose that actually. Oh, the sound of love. Here and we're good. Interesting you mentioned the fact about the developers of Silent Hill 1 because I personally never found Silent Hill 1 challenging even on hard. It's not too difficult once you know how you play it. Uh, for back, but then again, I don't know, did you play it back when it was like a, when it came out? Because I remember it like that was a kind of like a new type of game at that time. It was a horror game, but it's all a fully 3D, so played a bit differently from Resident Evil. Uh, but no, it's not. None of the Resident Evil, I mean, Silent Hill games are particularly difficult. Silent Hill 2, in fact, is incredibly easy, as long as you're not a complete and total idiot. <laughs> like, you almost never really don't have enough ammo to deal with everything. So a Silent Hill is just this town that has a will of its own. Sorry, it's like the land itself is like connected to like, is like thin, the walls of the spirit world are thin there. So it's always been like a special place. And I think the originally like the cult and its shenanigans just tapped into that. They didn't actually create it. Is how they went with it. All right. We gotta like solve a puzzle. Locked. Oh yeah, I need to like... Uh, I need to look at the, the, the puzzle answer again. <laughs> Secret is hidden on your side. Maybe thinking what could it be. You need to buy magic cards if you want to see. Uh, as long as you say please. First thing you must know is that there is something in each row, but that it's not the half of it. There would that three would be too hard to fit. So no, none of the rows have three cards on it, but each row is used. Upside down man under the ground. To his right, to his left. There's no one around. So underground man is on a row all by himself. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, full of crescent floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Think your Silent Hill would be focused around that trash boat and junkyard? <laughs> well, like I said, d the dogs possibly almost mauling me would definitely be there. I was catching up in a lot of old school games back five years ago, Silent Hill being one of them, and I thought the game wasn't scary even when I playing it on hard. Oh, you have to keep in mind, these games are like over 20 years old now so you have a lot of hindsight going in so you understand and you've probably played a bunch of horror games since then that borrowed heavily from what these games did uh so yeah you've already experienced a lot of the tricks these games used at the time when they were new though might have had more of an effect on you like i said i was never scared by a game until i first tried playing resident evil 1 like the original re1 and i got like scared to, too scared to even keep playing the game after the dogs jumped through the windows uh but obviously that would not work on me whatsoever, even close these days. Because it's just too well known of a tra of a tactic. Moon up above the sky, full of crests and floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. You're excellently praying to God most high. Okay. Uh, let me like get some of these down first before I like move on. That's a lot to memorize. <laughs> Alright, so High Priestess, Hangman... Moon tarot card, full tarot card, eye of night. Hmm. I'm guessing this would be like the underground man, the hangman, maybe? Moon, full, that'd be the clown. Eye of night, Found this real tarot card, examine. All right, I think the the hangman goes underground then, or like the bottom row, in the middle. 
Do I get the High Priestess, the Moon, the Fool, the Eye of Night? Let me like look at the rest of it now. All right, upside down, man. Under the ground. I'm just assuming he goes in the very bottom. There's right and left, nothing. All right, the moon is up above the sky, full or crescent, floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Uh, twinkling light. Okay. So I'm assuming that means the moon goes above like the fool. Eye of night, top left. Hmm, maybe. All right, so... Your excellency praying to God most high. Do you think you can tell me why? You always look up at the night sky. Do you have it now? You didn't forget. One major point you must not admit. Uh, now, at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint. Keep on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, so not on your right. Oh, not on your right. Okay, so yeah, the scary one. The, the, the dark car would go on the left. Turn it to the left and you'll keep it in sight. So you open the door, okay, 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 frightening peril, okay, that, that one pretty gives you that one for free. So, Eye of Night goes all the way to the top left, I think. Right, and let's see, what did it say? Hmm. Moon obviously goes, uh, probably top right since... So the old sky thing, but you can't put anything in the middle since they said none of them have all three. So moon card up here. And I think hmm, High Priestess. He's going the middle, but where? Well you just guess. <laughs> work it's locked nope hmm oh got it all right yeah hey, I think we're I don't think there's much left now is there <laughs> Let me take stock of myself. What do I got to work with? Got that on. I can take a picture of it if I need to. Got my pendant, radio, all right, weapons. Uh, let me reload this. All right, so, two, six, supplies. We have plenty of pistol ammo. Uh, I could do with like another six shotgun rounds, but whatever, and I got Pretty deep. I got another full clip of machine gun rounds. Stun gun battery doesn't matter. Beef jerky though. Why are we looking on beef jerky? We need to. This is gonna be a hungry god. Thirty one. Health is the only thing. It's a real issue. I got three full heals, two partial heals, and then like three small heals. That should be enough. I'd like to have a, like one more of these and maybe a couple more of these, but yeah, we'll we'll make do. I need. Well, I am like. Low health right now, but I think I can. T I, th I think I could probably take a hit or two <laughs> before I use any heals. However, we're not going to be using a, the katana for this fight. Uh, I guess we'll start out with a shawty. This this was this is gonna be a bitch, all right. It's still gonna be a bitch even now. Is this the final boss? I believe so. 
Actually, we, I don't think we're, we might not be there yet. We might be in like the mystery world right now. I'm not sure. I think we have to get back to the chapel, don't we? Don't we do I, I'm going backwards. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least it's well ventilated. <laughs> There's a huge fan here I can't get through. Hope he gets the bad ending. The only way you get the bad ending is determined by a choice you make during the ending, actually. And I know how to, like, not get that. I'd have to deliberately get it. I think this is it. And save. For the two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. When did you stop believing in God? God lives. I don't know. I'm not Just really into you. his an interior decorating. That was the I first start. I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like Alessa 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that again! Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home, Vincent! Home? This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way... Then you'll kill me. Well... Let me... He just got jump scared. Well... The guest of honor has arrived. Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell! Oof. What did you do? Mm, nothing important. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Alyssa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. But I thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can... 
can save us. And save you too? Happy ending? piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? Lady, a hunting rifle can kill God as You're seen in the verse game. Some thirty out six ought to do it. But God loves even you. Now, Alessa. Yeah, that Metatron seal we got from the hospital was a waste of time, by the way. Turning into spaghetti sauce. Fine marinara. Morbing. Everything is morbing now. Judgment day. Alessa. You tell her. So you can choose the ka kaboom, but you get the bad ending if you do it. Instead, shit, I can't save and like, I, to, I guess we could like get the bad ending, then we just skip through the cutscene and yeah, we'll do that. Show, I'll show you the bad ending. Kaboom! I just, you know, technically this is giving you the same lesson as uh, The Last of Us a little bit. If you go for your revenge, you birth an evil god into the world. Somehow we miss with the shotgun as well. Oh, God! Bring us salvation! <laughs> Vengeance is just an unwanted pregnancy. Kind of, kind of, uh, when you think about it, that game had the old deal with pregnancy too. Or the default battle. Well, technically it's just a game over. It's not an actual ending. Bit of a difference there. Alright, uh, let me like get the shoddy out.
Those camera angles were sort of like the opening camera angles in the first game where you walk into uh, the alleyways. Not much of any. Like I said, that was just like a unique game over. What do I Instead, what you're supposed to do is go into your inventory. Find this this single item you've had since the start of the game. Because if you've ever examined it, you had like your, uh, you know what? Your dad was fortunate enough to give you with like plan B. A grophitus. I'm still not okay from X-Men 97 episode 5. Uh, well, you know, p time heals all wounds, my man. I don't really know what happened. I haven't seen it yet. She is nearly here. She red-pilled. Oh, you're right. That's the ultimate red pill. I never thought of that before. <laughs> See, I was going with the plan B joke, but you beat me. That's actually way better. <laughs> Heather has equipped the coat. Oh, well, well, we already actually used the coat hanger for one puzzle earlier in the game. I just realized she wears a digital wristwatch. Ugh, ugh. That cannot have been pleasant. Cannot have been pleasant. What is this? I think that's what happens when you kill a mob in Minecraft. That's what comes out of it. Like you get the steak or the chicken leg. Sort of looks similar to it as well. Looks like God didn't make it. Oh, oh, well. Oh. Damn, girl. <laughs> Did you practice for that? Lessa, you cannot kill God. I will. I will burn God. It's like swallowing an entire bad dragon. I gotta admit, the visual of those like red lines on her face is really creepy. Looking forward to having kids someday. Well, you know what? The environment makes the difference. Hmm. Vlatil Cook, he finally did something. really examine here. Can you like maybe hook a, a player up with like an extra health kit before I go down? Nope. Hey, where'd the where'd Vincent's body go by the way? Anyone notice that you know going you know that disappear somehow? I only saw Velotiel grab one person. He won no, he died. He got stabbed twice. He was never real, huh? No saving. Oh. Alright. Uh. I'm dreading it a little bit. <laughs> Dread not gonna lie, oh. dreading it a touch. Oh. A 
body is awesome. Yeah, but she got pulled down this hole. She's, there's a reason she's going. had plenty of opportunities. I'm just going to say that out loud. This is God. Keep some distance then. Oh, yeah, I forget how that fucking works. how the fire works this time though destroy it destroy the wide birth tips i never noticed that before does a lot of damage. But I brought plenty of ammo this time, unlike where I was like having to use melee attacks the first time I fought her. God smash or bash, she's no near our loop attack. Basically a moonwalk to dodge your attacks. machine gun. I've been holding on to it this time, this long anyways, because I'm actually out of pistol bullets. No, ain't no aim. Aim properly. Shit. 
me. That's all my... All of that gone in that quick. That's why the machine gun sucks so much. Oh, really? Fuck. I was about to heal. God damn it. We'll use the freaking submachine gun first to get it over with. Because it's it goes it like brr brr done. I don't think that hit it any. Such a shit weapon. Yeah, you really... Okay, I, I just realized something. You really just gotta use the pistol here. It's too far away to attack it otherwise. On fire chat, literally. Dab on this hoe. Dab on her. Oh, too big head there. Didn't, didn't, didn't moonwalk fast enough. Pistol ammo, all we got left is a shot, you know. And I ain't got much of that. Oh, hmm. Fuck, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Don't you get your face down here so I can blast it. Oh, damn, that nearly, nearly killed me. Again. Oh, 
No, why are you missing? Can't have you. Why are you hitting the ground? <laughs> I hate this part. I hate this part so much. Just need to get up close. Last six rounds. Got her. All right, that was no. I've prepared for this time. Had enough ammo. Remember, in like first time I played through this fight years ago, I had to resort to melee weapons. Clapped, clapped it, Chad. Clapped. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Huzzah. Now that's a fancy word. Defeated the baby mama. Is that the end? I guess it's time to roll the credits. <laughs> the ending of this game is so bizarre, though. But then you had like the super sad mixed with the jokes. Yeah, she's been holding it. So this this part makes sense. It's the jokes that come afterward that don't really that were like weird and like poor choice. Like, yeah, I can understand her, like, just, she's been barely holding herself together since her dad died. And it just kind of, like, comes out now. Well, it looks all back to normal. It's just nighttime now. You're always with the jokes. Joke. <laughs> you always know how to lighten the mood. You've got terrible. I don't know if I'd play Sorry. jokes on a guy who early pointed a gun at my head and considered killing me, by the way. Did you... you don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. You gonna let your hair color go back too? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? And roll credits on that one. <laughs> it is what? Why? Why end with that? Of all the lines you could have ended with. I, I guess they wanted to end with some li liberty after all the like seriousness and horror and stuff, but that was like such a poor choice. Oh, just like had a good cry over like all the exhaustion and like pain of my father dying and then like, oh, let me crack some jokes. And also, now let's get a sad Italian man sing the theme song. I, I need to like talk over this, I'm sorry, because I'm streaming on YouTube and this will probably get copyright claimed if I don't. So I'm just gonna keep yapping. I'll like take moments where I don't though. Uh... 
So Chen, Silent Hill 3, pretty good. Not as good as Silent Hill 2, unfortunately. Uh, but then again, that's the entire series. It, Silent Hill series exists so Silent Hill 2 could be made, and that's really it. And everything else has been like, do we keep it going? I don't know, do, do we really keep it going after that? This is loud. Yeah, I can probably turn it up. Hold on a second. There we go. Now it's been turned down a lot. This is definitely a... This is definitely a singer they got for this, isn't it? How do you think they found this particular singer? I, I need, like... Can you, like, sing like you don't know how to speak English? Are those porn files? No, those are the files of the game. See? It's on 3. I think I just have, like, a porn folder. Like, I have even have porn saved on my computer like some weirdo. Try it. Chat, never trust someone who downloads porn. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Play Silent Hill Zero. I will play Silent Hill Zero eventually, because I've never played that one, and I kind of always wanted to. I know it's got problems. It ain't, it ain't exactly great, but like I said, it ain't Silent Hill 2. That's its problem. It's not Silent Hill 2. It's going to have an issue. Silent Hill 3 has the best intro. I still think Theme of Laura from Silent Hill 2 is the best. This one's good, though. I think Silent Hill made her go a little crazy at the end there. Uh, I don't think that's what it is. I think she just, they, I think this made the decision that they didn't really know how to end it properly from there. Uh, but they, so they decided to end on something more like, you know, hey, you can breathe easy now. It's over. So time for jokes. I don't know. But it doesn't really work. Is Silent Hill 2 in your top 10 games list? I don't know if I'd put it in my top 10 game list. I would definitely rank it, rank it, uh, rank it high though. It is like a very uh, seminal work for like horror games. And also it's like some people consider it like one of the better written video games out there because it's one of the few video games that understands subtlety and employs it directly. Silent Hill 2 is like almost like reading a really good novel at times that you actually have to think about. <clears throat> there are very few games that have achieved that. That's kind of its legacy. It kind of really pulls off the idea of like using visuals plus gameplay plus story and like makes it all work for a horror setting better than pretty much anything else. I mean, it's, it's definitely got warts on it, trust me. It ain't a perfect game. Just a joke? I can't tell what a joke is. I am a very serious individual. In a non-joking stream. Another idea for a classic sim video, Grim Fandango. Oh, funny you should mention I have that on my list as a possible classic sim video. Also, along other... Uh, adventure games I have on my list for potential classics in videos. Harvester and uh, uh, Mystery of the Druid. So some real like shit post horror video games. Are you sad about Silent Hills being cancelled? I mean, I can't really be sad about something that I didn't really know anything about. None of us really knew what that was going to be. It might have been crap. I mean, it's... I definitely would think it would have been interesting since it would have been Hideo Kojima doing a straight up horror game with some other top tier talent. So I think it would have been good. So yeah, I think it, I would have liked to have seen it. Don't be serious. Don't you know how blondes are supposed to have fun? I mean, are they? Do blondes really have more fun? I don't know why that's a, why that's a saying. I always wonder if that was just... Uh, 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 is that what the... I've never looked it up in the before, but does the Japanese version, the dialogue there, is that the same in Japanese? Does she like say, don't blondes have more fun? Or, well, she is like doing a thing with her hair, so it probably is actually. How about a live stream of Xenogears? It's a long one. Uh, I'm good for a while on <laughs> JRPGs. I don't. I really. I always have to remember which Xeno game is which because there's three different series. Imagine Kojima putting his peeing fetish in a sound. He would have. You think he wouldn't have? I need to play Snatcher at some point to see if you pee on anyone in that game. <laughs> Because I bet money there's piss involved somewhere in it. Also, Snatcher is another one on my list for potential classic sins. Think about that, chat. That one's probably going to happen. I might end up playing Snatcher this year, in fact. What makes me sad about Silent Hill is the fact that Junji Ito was involved. Yeah, I think he was going to do monster design, probably. But I don't think they got much further than what we saw. Before yeah, Kojima got fired. Rank 5. Damn. 
five star or is it eight stars i can't really there's like eight stars on screen but three of them are tiny split okay we killed all the bosses pretty quick Extra new game has been added to start screen. Play from there to see and enjoy extra features. Do you want to see Heather in like an idol outfit? <coughs> Starting from new game will begin a new game without the extra features. You fulfilled the conditions for hidden weapon beam saber. Extra costume has been added to the start screen. If you select this and enter the password, you can get a new costume. You got the extra costume password. Happy birthday! Why would you make me enter a password after unlocking it, though? <coughs> hmm. Do the insane cancer speaking Japanese say you Easter? I don't even know where that you would find that at. <laughs> Did you say you've played Fatal Frame before? I played Fatal Frame 2. That's the only one I've ever played. So I think you get new costumes there, right? But do you have to like find them somewhere or do you just start out with them? I guess you don't start out with them. You probably have to like find them in somewhere in the in the mall, right? This the yeah, I've seen the costumes before, but I don't really want to like go to the trouble of finding them. Have I played Haunting Grounds? No, I have not. I think I might will play it at some point. I like this song, by the way. So I'm just gonna leave the controller there, let the song play. <coughs> Uh, isn't it through a code? Eh, it's whatever. I don't really care about alternate costumes in horror games. Those were uh, like a weird reward anyways. Uh, I get a stretch. Relieve the tension. Can you play more Half Sword at some point? I'm waiting for that game to come out. Once it's like, like right now, it's like no point. It'd just be the same thing I've already played. Once it releases, or at least it has more to it than what's currently there in the demo, I'll play more of it. You should play Ride to Hell. I literally talked about Ride to Hell Retribution earlier in tonight's stream as a game I don't want to bother playing since it's shit. There's like no point. Everyone knows it's terrible. Have you ever played Rule of Rose? No, but that's another one on my list to potentially uh, play in Sin. Since I, I like a lot of... There's a lot of... I like the PS2 uh, era of like horror games a lot, but I didn't get to play many of them besides Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Uh, I've also been thinking of playing that From Software horror game called Kuon. Because uh, it looks interesting and it's, hey, it's From Software. <laughs> it might be interesting. Yeah, yeah, so maybe give that one a look at some point. Seeing Dart's Bloodlust and Half Sword was really entertaining. <laughs> By the way, I was looking at the soundtrack for this game and I noticed the official cover for it has Heather without an undershirt. I use that as a thumbnail, actually. Kuwan is great. I heard it was like, it's interesting, but it's flawed. You were going to say Kuwan? She just has a white vest on. Uh, she has the white vest on, but she doesn't have her other shirt on underneath of it, I don't think. Rule of Rose handles kind of clunky. Almost every PS2 horror game. Like, I challenge you to find me a PS2 horror game that doesn't handle clunkily. They all do. So, I, if I can handle the other PS2 horror games, I think you can handle the clunkiness of that. For some reason, they just like, they had this, I believe, that all horror games up until Resident Evil 4, even Resident Evil 4 is clunky. Uh, really, it's not until Resident Evil 7, I would say, that you get a non-clunky horror game. And even then, probably not until Resident Evil 2 Remake that you get a truly non-clunky horror game. <laughs> that was just how you, that's just what a horror game had to be. It had to be clunky for some reason. Clunk equals horror, Chad. K keep that, that in mind. Clunk equals scary. That was a that was the design document for every horror game for close to 20 years. It had to be clunky. 
I don't know why they just had to. They thought if you're clumsy and the controls are awkward, it'll make it scarier. Where do I want to be in five years? In your mom. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, can anyone truly ever answer that question? Resident Evil 4 isn't clunky. I, look, I love Resident Evil 4. I mean Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Resident Evil 4. I love it. It's like literally in my top 10 list. Uh, but it's definitely got some clunk to it. No denying that. You kill them? That, that is like the lame... Like, your mom, really? No, no one gets killed by your mom joke, alright? That is like the lamest, dumbest joke, easiest joke you can make. There's nothing clever to it. It's like the first thing that'll pop into your head when you try to think of something funny. <clears throat> You're about to say clunky equals horror. Yeah, they had this misguided belief that uh, horror was only horror if you were like struggling with the controls for some reason and the rest of the game mechanics. Are you going to play Limbo with a loss for classics? I don't even know how you play that game. I, I don't know. I don't think... I mean, from what I know of that game... Well, the main thing I know of that game is that it's like uses a bunch of stolen assets. So clearly you can't buy it anywhere. And I, I don't think so. Not right away anyways. I got way better options for like classics and stuff. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is designed around those restrict... Yeah, I, I will say the original bout of horror games on PS1 were designed around one well uh they were designed around the limitations of the technology a little bit uh so you had like clunky controls because they were using 2d backgrounds to like make the game look better uh but even silent hill which used 3d 3d backgrounds also had clunky controls and like bad aiming and you know combat they they, they all could have definitely been better i feel it just for some reason that just became the design idea Like, like, look at, like, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Still stuck with all the clunky stuff, even though it was, like, originally made for Dreamcast, which could do way better. They're like, oh, no, we gotta make it this way. Even Resident Evil 4 at one point was gonna play that way until they decided not to. Like, why are we, like, trying to make it the same way we made the previous couple games? Uh, I got a good one for you. It's weird, but it's a lot better than it appears at first glance. Yuppie Psycho on Steam. Yuppie Psycho. I've never heard of this game before. <laughs> Yuppie Psycho, bro. Not better, more modernized, which isn't always good. I mean, I, I agree. I, there's like, I, I can like a game that's old and clunky. I'm not saying it's bad. And uh, there's definitely an argument that too much streamlining removes uh, removes character from something, I guess. This is the best way of putting it. <clears throat> Metal Gear Solid 1 isn't that bad to play after all these years. Uh, that's because it uses isometric viewpoints and, you know, controlled camera angles. Uh, so it's it just like playing a top-down game. It just worked pretty well. <coughs> uh, they're, like changing items though was a little clunky from what I remember in Metal Gear. <coughs> what about Song of Horror? Would you play that? It has a permadeath feature. I think I own that. Is that it's like a PC horror game. It plays multiple characters, right? I think I own that. I got gifted it by like the developers or something. What do I think is the most important thing in life? I mean, that's going to be different for every person, right? I don't think there is, like, one defining answer to that question. You ask one person what the most important thing to them is, it'll be completely different than what someone else would say. I personally just think, hey, live as good as you can. Like, leave the world... You know, it's clat cheesy, but hey, leave the world a little bit better. Yeah, that's always healthy. Do something that people can remember you for positively. There you go. You know, remember Martian Gothic? I never played it, but I heard of Martian Gothic. I think it was like a PS1 horror game, wasn't it? <laughs> or, 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 yeah, it was like a very final, like, one like the last games made for PS1. Lying in bed watching me? Well, hey. If it helps you sleep, it helps you sleep. Like, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 does, depending on the individual. You tried out the A New Alone in the Dark game, it's got David... Oh, yeah, I played it, actually. You can watch the VODs of it here on the channel. <clears throat> it was alright. It's probably, like, the best, like, Alone in the Dark game they've ever made, I guess. But then again, I've never played the other ones. I've always heard they're not very good. That being said, I might end up playing some more Alone in the Dark games in the future. What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you. To hear your lamentations of the women. No, these days it's all about Zoomer Conan. Zoomer Conan. 
What is best in life? Play Fortnite to buy skins, to dab on your enemies, to cock the, to cock the girlfriend. <laughs> Zoomer, Co I forget how I did the Zoomer Conan bit. It's been so long. I need to like write the Zoomer Conan bit out so I can like remember it for like future streams because <laughs> it's one of the best ones I ever did. Zoomer Conan is like he's he's the deepest character I've ever come up with, chat. Did I miss the ending? I'm afraid so. We already beat. I'm just like letting this music play in this section because I like it so much. Uh, uh Good morning. What's up, beep beep? How you doing? Have I ever played? Come on now. You gotta try harder than that with the up dogs. Old man Dargan Zuma Conan. Oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Music makes you feel so nostalgic. This is just a good beat. This is like very uh this is this is like what you would kinda hear on like low beats to study to, like study girl, YouTube channel, whatever it was. <laughs> Deadly premonition is very Twin Peaks, yes. Japan loves Twin Peaks. Hell Silent Hill takes influence from Twin Peaks. Later taters, hey Maverick, uh thanks for being here tonight. Thank you for the membership gift bombs as well. I think that was you, or was that someone else? I'm sorry if I, if I get it wrong. I had to remember a lot tonight. Lo-fi girl? Yeah, lo-fi girl. I always call her study girl, actually. Lo-fi girl in Silent Hill. No, that, there's a game idea. Twin Peaks was popular in Japan. Twin Peaks was massively popular in Japan. Also, Maverick, thank you for the $2 super chat, by the way. Drink something? I already emptied my can. I gotta get another can. Did you hear that Spec Ops line is unavailable for sale because the magic right the the music rights ended? I mean, I really dislike that game. But uh I feel bad for the people who want to play it though. If any woods out there still want to play it. I'm assuming if you owned it, you could still download it though. But that's kind of the nature of a lot of games. They just disappear after a while because of right licensing. <clears throat> What's that? Licensing right now after a deck card? Can't sell that anymore. When are you releasing the FF7 video? Well, I'm going to be I'm not going to be streaming the next few days as I focus on finishing it up. So my plan right now is to finish up the FF7 video and then get everything ready for the Patreon so I can release everything under that. And also an announcement video of the Patreon for YouTube and then after all that goes up, then I'll release the FF7 video onto YouTube as well. Uh goal is set. Well, I don't have an I don't have a set date for what day anything releases yet. Like I said, it's going to take me at least two more days to finish up the sequence of FF7. Uh, if I want to add the subtitles in or the captions, that'll take me a few more days because it's going to be such a long video. Uh, at least at least take me another two days to add in all the captions I need. Uh, I'm still waiting on the in the intro for the both the FF7 video and also my new logo intro for anything Patreon related from Rune. So I need those before I can like finally cap off the Patreon vids as well, but... That's yeah. That's in, that's in the works. Uh, so it's it's close at hand, and I'll let you know. Like I said, I'll do an announcement video for it on YouTube when I'm ready to like. Hey, here you go. Here's a link. <laughs> and then you can watch all the new content. Uh, all right, but I feel like that's go. That's a full screen chat. Almost. It's eleven thirty three, so only thirty minutes short from what my normal time would be. What about Google SEMA? Google SEMA. What's Google SEMA? I'm assuming it's some kind of AI related thing. What does it do? Auto captions? Technically, I already use AI for putting my captions in. I use Adobe's automatic caption system. Uh, but it does, it, I have to go through and check a lot of it because it's always making mistakes. SEMA, this dick. Okay, there you go. Are you happy? Are you happy now? I hope you feel good about that one. Have a good night. Hey, have a good night, idiots. Love you, Darty. Hey, love you too, Diesel. Have a good rest. Yeah, I'll probably, I won't be streaming for a few days because I got to like, focus on finishing up this video. Got to get that out so I can get to work on some other stuff. Uh, but I will be streaming in probably another horror game when I come back in a day or two. <coughs> but I need to stop this recording as well. By the way, I just realized it's still going. AI renders it Tifa... Arif and Yuffie, amongst other things. 
Uh, it, usually it just thinks it, it usually goes for an actual real word and doesn't try to like, you know, spell it out. So they just put like teeth, teeth as in like teeth. Uh, but uh, all of you have a great night. I'll see you in a couple days. Hopefully I'll have some, maybe some big announcements by then, but we'll see. Uh, but everything's coming along pretty nicely. So hopefully I have it out to you as soon as I can, but I'll have some more streams for you in a day or two anyways. Uh, not sure what it'll be, but it'll be something pretty good. I think we'll all enjoy if you're new here, hit the follow button or the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Also hit the like button if you're on YouTube, please. Apparently it really helps out. <clears throat> you can also join my Discord. There's a Discord link down below on both sites. Thank you to the mod team. Thank you for any bits, subs, gift subs, memberships, super chats tonight as well. Very much appreciated. Quite a few of those were given out, so thank you for your generosity. And also finally, thank you for showing up and spending some time with me, chat. My pleasure to have you. And I'll have you again in a few days, so... Enjoy your night's sleep, everybody. Peace. Now get the fuck out of my house.